Good day everyone. So today we are going to talk about the implementing rules and regulations of Republic Act number 8491. First of all, what is Republic Act 8491? According to the Manila Times, Republic Act 8491 or the Flag and Heraldic Code of the Philippines mandates that reverence and respect shall be accorded at all times to the Philippine flag, the national anthem, and other national symbols that embody the country's ideals, traditions, and express the principles of sovereignty and national solidarity. And it penalizes violators. So, buot pa sa butaning Republic Act 8491, usa ni siya kamandato nga kinahanglan sundun nga dapat ato agyud nga irespeto ang atong Philippine flag, ang atong national flag, national anthem, ug uban pang mga national symbols. So, karun magsugod ta sa rule number one, which is the general provisions. Number one, general provisions. Section one, title. These rules shall be known, cited, and referred to as the rules and regulations implementing Republic Act number 8491 series of 1998 the code of the national flag anthem motto coat of arms and other heraldic items and devices of the philippines herein after called the rules so naka state siya diri ang tawag ani niya kay rules section 2 declaration of policy and objectives it is the policy of the state to hear and prescribe the code of the national flag, anthem, motto, coat of arms, and other heraldic items and devices of the Philippines. Ensure the promotion and Im implementation of its corresponding rules and regulations, and adapt effective administrative, regulatory, coordinative, and supervisory programs and activities where appropriate in conformity with national government policies. Section 3. Scope of Application. There is a section 3 naka state there nga kini nga rules kini tanan maka-apply siya ma-apply siya sa tanan individuals both private and public entity military and police agencies ug uban pang branch or instrumentalities sa national or local government including government owned or controlled corporations niya dapat po kini nga rules, i-observe siya so dapat i-follow siya sa tanan teritoryo sa Pilipinas Rule 2 The Implementing Agency Section 5 The Implementing Agency So ang agency nga natahasan sa pag-implement ang nga provision or rule kay ang NHI or ang National Historical Institute. Section 6, Scope of Power and Function. Section 6, sila mo yung nagplano, magmonitor, makikoordinate, or pwede po sila mag-add o policy, formulating function, o kikinhanglan mag-ani sila nga mo-add. Section 7, and the rule number two is the definition of terms. So the terms that are used in these rules are A. Military. So it shall mean all branches of the armed forces of the Philippines, including the Philippine National Police, the Bureau of Jail Management and Penology, and the Bureau of Fire Protection. And B. Feston shall mean to hang in a curved shape between two points as a decoration. C. National flag shall mean the national flag and ensign of the Philippines unless stated otherwise used on land and sea by public, private, and the military and shall refer to the flag or any other design that so resembles it as likely to cause any person to believe that it is the flag or design stated, expressed, or provided in the Constitution of the Philippines, Republic Act Number 8491. D. Fly shall mean the part of the flag outside the hoist or length. E. Hoist, so it shall mean the sleeve or heading 
part of the flag nearest the staff or the canvas to which the hull yard is attached. F symbol, so shall mean any conventional sign which reveals man's achievement and heroism for orders and decorations, identification, authority, and a sign of dignity for coat of arms, logo, and insignia. Half mast shall mean lowering the flag to one half the distance between the top and bottom of people. So H halyard shall mean the long rope where the flag fastens and which runs up the length of the flagpole. Inclement weather shall mean that a typhoon signal is raised in the locality. J national anthem shall mean the lupang hinirang which is the Philippine National Anthem. Okay, official residences shall mean Malacanang and other government-owned structures where the president resides and other structures occupied by the Philippine consulate or embassies abroad. L, places of frivolity, shall mean places of hilarity marked by our providing boisterous merriment or recreation. M. Advertisement or informational shall mean advertisement or any information material in print, radio, television, cinema, video, and the like, outdoor and electronic media seeking to promote individuals, entities, products, or services for commercial, political purposes, or information campaigns. N. Heraldic items and devices shall mean coat of arms, Seals, logos, insignia, badges, flashes, patches, orders, and decorations, medals, stars, citations, lapel pens, trophies, dry wax or wet cells, and imprints on letterheads, envelopes, and cards. Government entities, so shall mean all branches of the government, its bureaus and attached agencies, constitutional offices, local government offices, government-owned and or controlled corporations, government financial institutions, state universities, and colleges, armed forces of the Philippines including its basic components units. And lastly, vexillary items shall mean national, local, house flags, or administrative institution, corporate, unit, and other organizations banners. Number 3. The National Flag A. Design of the National Flag Under the Design of National Flag is Section 8. It states there that the National Flag shall be blue, white, and red with an 8 rayed golden yellow sun and 3 stars that are 5 pointed as consecrated and honored by the people. Ever since we are in elementary days, we all know what is the design of our national flag. Sa masugutag sa dili, lisud, or di na na mausab, kay na implement na sa rule number 3, section 8. So if you're planning to change the design of the flag, then you would rather change your nationality. <laughs> Charot trabito. Basta lisud na na usbo ng design. B. Hoisting and display of the national flag. Section 9. It states there that the national flag shall be displayed in all public buildings, official residences, public places, and institutions of learning every day throughout the year. So in this section, it stated there that our national flag shall be displayed in public buildings. So dili na ta mahibong kung ato makita ng ato a national flag sa mga public buildings. Eventually, this is be done in order to recognize and honor our national flag. Section 10, wherein the national flag shall be permanently hoisted day and night throughout the year, in front of the following, at Malacanang Palace, Congress of the Philippines Building, Supreme Court Building, Rizal Monument in Luneta, Manila, Bonifacio Monument in Caloacan City, Emilio Aguinaldo Shrine in Cavit Cavite, Barasuin Church Historical. Landmark in Malolos, Bulacan, Marcela Agoncillo Historical Landmark in Taal, Batangas, Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, Libingan ng mga Bayani, Makati City, 
Mausolio de los Veteranos de la Revolución, North Cemetery, Manila, all international ports of entry and all other places as may be designated by the Institute. The national flag of these sites shall be properly illuminated at night. In this section, there are specific places wherein our national flag shall be permanently hoisted day and night throughout the year. So in simple words, in that mentioned places earlier, always good na na nakaraise ang flag diha nga dapit. In section 11, the national flag shall also be displayed in private buildings and residences or raised in the open flag staffs in front of said buildings every April 9, araw ng kagitingan, May 1, Labor Day, National Flag Days from 28, May 28 to June 12, Independence Day, Last Sunday of August, National Heroes Day, November 30, Bonifacio Day, and December 30, Rizal Day. And on such other days as may be declared or approved by the President and or local chief executives. The national flag may also be raised and displayed at sunrise and lowered at sunset and throughout the year in the open flag staff in front of private buildings, provided that proper flag ceremonies be observed in accordance with these rules. All government entities should observe flag days with appropriate ceremonies, socio-civic groups, non-government organizations, and the private sector are enjoined to observe and cooperate in making the celebration a success. So uh, guys, ang akong example ay nakikita ng flag. Dapat yun na to i-respect ang atong flag. Ay mo siya ang symbol sa to country. So another example sa ni guys, ikan ng Independence Day. Makita na to na mo attended ang mga police, bombero, tanan mga under sa government or non-government. Section 13. The national flag shall be flown on all naval vessels and on merchant ships of Philippine Register of more than 1,000 gross tons. Kinan daw na mga military man or mga boats is dapat na ay mabutang na flag para mailan nga sa kinani sa Philippines. Section 14. On all aircraft of the Philippine Registry, the national flag shall be permanently displayed horizontally on its fuselage at the head portion with the highest side pointing the forward direction. Guys, ang ako pagsabot ni guys is uh, kaning sa 14, kay papariha rin siya sa 13. Ang ganil lang siya kay sa mga aircraft. The national flag, if flown from a flagpole, shall have its blue field on top in time of peace and the red filled in top in time of war. Section 16. If planted in the ground, the flagpole shall be at a prominent place and shall be of such height as would give the national flag commanding position in relation to the buildings in the vicinity. The flagpole must not be of equal height or higher than the Independence flagpole at the Rizal Park, Manila. The flagpole that is planted on the ground must be straight. The minimum length of the national flag is one-fourth the height of the flagpole, while maximum length of the national flag is one-third the height of the flagpole. So, ang flagpole na atong gamiton is kinanglan ato siya ibutang sa saktong lugar. Huwag di siya mas taas sa flagpole sa Rizal Park, Manila. Then, kinahanan ang flagpole ng atong gamiton is straight. Tapering at the top is kanang talini siya sa igbaw. Section 17. When the national flag is flown with the flag or flags of the other countries, the flags must be of equal size and on separate staffs of the same height. The national flag shall be hoisted first and lowered last. When displayed in a summer circle of flags with other countries or house flags, the national flag should be at the center. When displayed in a circle of flags with other countries or house flags, 
The national flag should be flown on the flagpole facing the main red or in front of a monument or the main entrance of the building. The flags of other countries or house flags should be arranged counterclockwise in alphabetical order by precedence or by protocol. Section 18. When displayed in a row or in a parade with flags of other countries, the national flag shall be on the left of the other flags. The flags of other countries should be arranged in alphabetical order from left to right. So, if na mga parade, ang national flag is nasa sa left, then ang other, ang other countries ka flag is should be arranged in alphabetical order. When displayed in a row of house flags, the national flag shall be in front of the center of the line or on the left of the row. The house flag should be arranged in alphabetical order by precedence or by protocol order from left to right. When in a parade with house flags, the national flag shall be in front of the center of the first line. The house flag should be arranged in alphabetical order by precedence or by protocol order from left to right. During special occasions, if there is only one flag pulled, the house flag may be flown at the same halyard with the national flag but below the lotter and it cannot be bigger than the national flag. Section 19. A worn out national flag should not be thrown away. It should be solemnly borne to avoid misuse or desecration. The national flag shall be replaced immediately when it begins to show signs of wear and tear. For an out national flag should not be thrown away. Di siya pwede ilabay. Ang buhaton is sunugon siya para malikayan ang misuse or desecration or pagpasipala. So if a national flag is nagsugod na siya kagisi, ilisa na na siya dayon. The section 20 states that national flag shall be raised at the sunrise and lowered at the sunset and it shall be on the mast at the start of school ofi, official school and office hours and shall remain flying throughout the day. The national flag shall not be raised when the weather is inclement. If already raised, the national flag shall not be lowered for the whole day. As we can see and also we can observe this during school sa katong face-to-face -face pa nga and every morning kaya naagyod tayo flag racing ceremony sa atong pag high school no high school and elementary the elementary and also we left the flag hanging all throughout the day after school hours the flag will be lowered this will this will also observe in any offices and if for example ka nang nang magbagyo or kusog ayo ang uwan Ig morning, dili like, kita makakandak og flag racing ceremony. So, but if na race na ang flag, then pagkataud taud ana kay ni uwan. So, dili na 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 ato siya pwede ma malower kay kinanglan i display gid na siya nato the whole day. So, maoni siya kanang maoni siya nga ako nakita sa Google nga gipang display nga flags sa mga establishments and others. We are in the section 21. The section 21 states that national flag may be displayed in such a inside and or outside a building on stationary or movable flagpole. If the national flag is displayed indoors on a flagpole, it shall be placed at the left of the observer as one enters the room. B. From the top of the flagpole, which shall be at the prominent place or a commanding position in, er, in relation to the surrounding buildings. C. From the staff projecting upward from the windowsill, roof, canopy, balcony, or facade of a building. D. In a suspended position from a, from a roof extending from a building to a pole erected away from a building. E flat against the wall vertically with the sun and stars on top. F hanging vertically in the middle of a two-way traffic road. The blue field should be pointing east if the road is heading, heading south or north. And if the road is heading east or west, the blue field should be pointing north. And lastly, 
G hanging vertically at the sides or middle of the one-way traffic road. The blue field should be at the left of the observer. So, mauna ka na. Sa, it stated nga if indoors ang flag, ma-place gid na siya sa left sa observer. So, pananglitan mo sud ka sa usa ka building. Kay, igsud ni mo, makita ni mo ang ang flag na naka-display sa imong left side. And, sa ipod, makita na ni mo ang flag na naka-display sa mga balcony, balcony sa municipio or sa mga building na naka, naka-display na siya sa balcony. Marag nag-slant siya, paslant ang iyang pag-display. So, if ang um, flag po ma, may maki, makita po na ni mo ang flag usahay kay kanang sa two way nga traffic road naka naka na gibutang na give display na ang flag vertically so it stated the ring uh, if ang um, imong destination pa south or north the blue field should, should be pointing east so kana kung padong ka sa south or north, imumakitan ang blue field nga nakapoint sa east. And if padong ka sa east or west, so ang blue field sa daan na kay nakapoint sa sa north. So if sa one-way traffic road sa ko, no? uh, vertically gihapon ang pag-display sa sa flag no pero ang kalahian kay ang blue field kay kinahanglan na asya sa nakaplace siya sa left side sa mga makakita or observer so kani maoning may example nga pag search na ko maoning nigawas pag search na ko sa google maoning mga pictures Section 22 states that the national flag shall be hoisted to the top presky and lowered ceremoniously. The fla national flag must be properly folded before hanging for the start of the ceremony. It shall not be left hanging at the base of the flagpole while waiting for the flag ceremony. The national flag shall never touch anything beneath it, such as the base of the pole, ground or other object after being lowered the national flag shall be handled and folded solemnly as part of the ceremony so section 22 is also about how we handle the flag during flag flag raising ceremony and flag lowering as we can observe kay kanang properly fold good siya ang flag sa dili pa na siya na to erase for example sa katong pag elementary or High school na to, no, high school days. Kay, kalang mo ingon yun ang ato mga teacher nga. If kita ang pa kanta ko sa flag racing ceremony kay, ingon yun sila nga, especially katong mga girl scout o boy scout kay, ingon sila nga tarungon o gunit or if mag flag retreat na kay, tarungon o hipus ang ang flag. Hinayon pag pilo or tarungon ang pagpilo sa national flag onya dili sad siya isang yad sa yuta or sa bisag asat matouch and og mahumana og pilo ng flag ay ingon gud na sila nga itarong og butang dili ipataka kay mao na siya ang atong national flag conduct of flag raising and lowering ceremonies and this is section 23 and it stated it states that all government offices, including national or local government units and institutions, shall henceforth observe the flag raising ceremony every morning, Monday morning, and the flag lowering ceremony every Friday afternoon. This includes private establishments who fly the national flag and flagpole in their compound. Primary and secondary schools and other institutions of learning shall observe the flag ceremony as ordered by the Department of Education, Culture and Sports, and or the Commission of Higher Education. So, this is all about Section 23, it's all about 
how we conduct flag raising and luring ceremonies. It is required to ord all the offices and institutions, either ma public man or private, that they should observe the flag raising every mo Monday morning and flag lowering in every Friday afternoon. But in our grade school, grade school years nga, kay every morning ta magandak og flag raising ceremony. O sa ahay gani, naamanggay na tayo mga sanctions nga madawat if malita. Papun dito na yung tagbasura. So, kanang, if dilita maka-attend og flag raising sa una, kay naatay madawat nga punishment. So, and also, kay everyday man mag flag raising, everyday pod ma i-lowered ang ato ang flag. Pero sa uban nga offices or institution kay every Monday morning na na sila mag-kandak og flag raising. And every Friday afternoon na sila mag-kandak og flag lowering. So, these are all the examples nga akong nakita. So, mga pictures ni siya nga ako na search sa Google. In section 24, it is stated that the observance of the flag ceremony shall be simple and dignified. Every flag raising ceremony must be done in a formal and serious manner as way of showing respect to our nationality. Section 25 states that during the flag ceremony, the assembly shall stand in formation facing the national flag. So in connection with what was stated in the previous section, the ceremony shall be dignified. Proper formation should be observed. Everyone must stand at attention and salute. Those with hats should uncover, and most importantly, everyone must face the national flag. Otherwise, it would be disrespecting our nationality. Everyone in the premise must attend, everyone including those that are driving. Therefore, moving vehicles should be stopped. This should be observed by everyone from the very first beginning of the singing of national anthem until the end. And the same procedure should be observed when we are passing by a flag ceremony. Section 26. During the flag lowering, the national flag shall be lowered solemnly and slowly, so that the flag shall be down the mast at the sound of the last note of the national anthem. In section 27, the national flag should be thrown at half mast, or it will be raised only until the half part of the pole. It is a sign of mourning upon the death of any of the following officials. The president or a former president for 10 days, the vice president, the chief justice of the Supreme Court, the president of the Senate and the speaker of the House of Representatives for 7 days, cabinet secretaries, associate justices of the Supreme Court, members of the Senate and House of Representatives, the Chief of Staff of the Armed Forces of the Philippines and the Director General of the Philippine National Police for five days, heads of national government agencies including government-owned and controlled corporations and government financial institutions for three days, the commanding generals of the Philippine Air Force and the Philippine Army and the flag officer in command of the Philippine Navy for three days, governors, vice governors, city and municipal mayors, city and municipal vice mayors for three days, members of the Sangguniang Panalawigan, Sangguniang Panungsod, and Sangguniang Bayan on the day of internment, barangay chairman and the barangay councilmen of the day of internment, former national or local government officials, appointive or elective, other than those specified above, on the day of internment within their former respective territorial jurisdictions and by resolution of their respective sangguniaans. Regional directors, superintendents, supervisors, principals, teachers, and other school officials on the day of internment and by order of the proper school authorities concerned. Recipients of national orders and decorations on the day of internment and by order of the president or the congress and other persons to be determined by the institute for a period of less than seven days. Or, it could be also a way of sympathizing with the victims of a calamity or disaster. In Rule 3, Section 28, Pwede di ay siya as cover sa casket or lungon ang national flag sa namatay nga military, 
veterans of previous wars, national artists, ug uban civilians nga nagserbisyo sa nasod as may determined by the local government unit concerned. So ug mahitabo man gani ni ang white triangle kay sa may o dapit sa casket dayon ang red o blue kay sa may tiilan. Pero dili siya pwede mo dapat sa ground instead inigsud na sa casket sa butanganan. Kuwao ng flag dayon pilon nga ihatag sa pamilya sa namatay nga dapat wala gyud itabon sa babaw sa flag gawa sa religious objects like for example Bible. Section 29. The following shall be the pledge of allegiance to the national flag. So, in section 29, dapat gyud ay niya na to i-recite every after sa national anthem. Dayon dapat ang atong pagbarog kay straight, dayon ang pagkaisa sa atong palm, level sa shoulder, dayon ang palm kay open siya. Nga na ang may students nga dili pwede mo rin sa ilang kamot kay bawal sa ilang relihiyon ang dapat ra nila buhaton kay mubarog og tarong. So, diri sa section 30 naka-state diri nga during May 28 to June 12, mao na ang National Flag Days onya during this time, gi-require ang mga offices, agencies og uban pang mga government instrumentalities, schools, private building og mga balay nga i-display nila ang national flag. So, in section 31, ang government offices and local government, gidisplay nila ang national flag sa kasagaran ato ni Makitaan sa park, plazas, and other public places. Specifications of the National Flag, section 32. The national flag shall have the following proportions. The width of the national flag is 1 and the length is 2. All the sides of the white triangle is one. So, ang gilap dun sa flag o ang sides sa white triangle is the same sila o size which is one. Unya ang katasun sa flag is two. Section thirty three. The technical specifications shall be as follows. The blue color shall bear cable number eight zero one seven three, and the white color cable number. 80001 the red color cable number 80108 and the golden yellow cable number 80068 the assigned cable numbers are listed in the 10th edition of the standard color reference of america created and issued by the color association of the united states number 343 lexington avenue new york New York 10016 series of 1981. Naagi cable number ang colors national flag. The colors of the flag were first standardized by President Ramon Magsaysay upon the recommendation of Philippine Heraldry Committee or PHC on January 24, 1955. So lahi pa ang mga cable number sa mga colors sa una. Pagka President ni Corazon Aquino. Nagtugi usab na sad ang cable number sa matag color. For 1998 centennial celebration of Philippine independence, the flag and heraldic code of the Philippines was passed, designating royal blue or cable number 80173 as the official variant to be used from 1998 to present, which is mo nang atugi gamit karon. Section 34. In order to establish uniform criteria in the making of our national flag and to guarantee its durability by the use of quality materials, the following standards and procedures shall be observed. A. All requisitions for the purchase of the national flag must be based on strict compliance with the design, color, craftsmanship, and material requirements of the government. B. The manufacturer shall send annually one meter for each color, which is blue, red, white, and golden yellow, including canvas, of textile material to the Industrial Technology Development Institute, or ITDI, or the Philippine Textile Research Institute, or PTRI, of the Department of Science and Technology, or DOST, for evaluation. 
the PTRI or ITDI shall evaluate the quality and serviceability of the said textile material. C. Flag manufacturers shall apply for annual accreditation of the institute. Together with their application, they will submit the PTRI or ITDI laboratory test results, copy of business license, permit, company profile, and other pertinent documents, and D. All submitted samples of the national flag by accredited suppliers offered for purchase for government use shall be evaluated as to design, color, materials, and craftsmanship specifications by the Institute through its heraldry and display section, which shall stamp its approval or disapproval on the canvas reinforcement of the national flag samples submitted. The national flag samples shall be sent to the Institute by the requisitioning office and not by the flag supplier. Section 35 all deliveries of the national flags requisitioned by government entities shall be inspected by the requisitioning office, internal inspector, and by the Commission on Audit, or COA, using the national flag stamped, approved, by the Institute as reference. The internal inspector of the requisitioning office and the COA, in case of confusion, may send another sample of the national flag picked at random from the delivered flags for re-evaluation by the institute. Stricto jud kaayo ang pag-purchase of national flag. Kinahangan jud i-evaluate ang kalidad sa produkto or material ug na pay mga test nga buhaton so dili jud makapurchase og dire diretso kinahanglan jud aprobado section 36 for effective information dissemination all accredited manufacturers are required to inform all flag consumers of the provision of these rules section 37 all government entities shall ensure that the requirements under the republic act number no. 8491 and these rules with respect to the standard requisitions and deliveries of the national flags are strictly complied with. Section 38. All departments, agencies, offices, and instrumentalities of the government, government-owned or controlled corporations, local government units, including barangays, shall include in their annual budget the necessary outlay for the purchase of the national flag. Prohibited Acts Section 39. It shall be prohibited. A. To mulitate, deface, defile, trample on, cast contempt, or commit any act or omission casting dishonor or ridicule upon the national flag or over its surface. B. To dip the national flag to any person or object by way of compliment or salute. And the letter C is to use the national flag. The national flag must be not used as a drapery, festoon, tablecloth, covering for ceilings, walls, statues, or other objects as a pennant in the hood, side, back, and top of motor vehicles, as a staff or whip for unveiling monuments or statues, and as trademarks or for industrial, commercial, or agricultural labels or designs. To display the national flag under any painting or picture horizontally, it shall always be hoisted aloft to be allowed to fall freely. Below any platform or in discotheques, cockpits, night and day clubs, casinos, gambling joints and places of vice or where frivolity prevails. It is prohibited to wear the national flag in whole or in part as a costume or uniform. Any word, figure, mark, picture, design, drawings, advertisement, or imprint of any nature on the national flag, to print, paint, or attach representation of the national flag on handkerchiefs, napkins, cushions, and articles of merchandise is also prohibited. To display in public any foreign flag, except in embassies and other diplomatic establishments and in offices of international organizations, use or display, or be part of any advertisement or informational, and to display the national flag in front 
of the buildings or offices occupied by aliens. Republic Act 8491 or the Flag and Heraldic Code of the Philippines mandates that the reverence and respect shall be accorded at all times to the Philippine flag, the national anthem, and other national symbols that embody the country's ideals and traditions, and expresses the principle of sovereignty and national solidarity because it penalizes the violators. Thank you.